much water should I drink a day? Human bodies contain around 60% water, and that water is essential in regulating almost all bodily functions. So welcome to Metalab Zone, and let's talk about how much water you need to drink a day. Subscribe and keep in touch to get all the nutrition facts you need to know. If you have any concerns in the area of nutrition, put them in the comments so we can answer you with a new video. As I said, if you want your body to function properly, it's important to stay hydrated. That's because even mild dehydration, as little as 2% fluid loss, can affect your memory, mood, focus, and reaction time. It can cause your brain to shrink and even result in headaches and migraines in some people. Dehydration will also cause irritability and crankiness. When you're dehydrated, your body retains more heat. This, in turn, reduces your ability to endure heated conditions. This impaired heat control will decrease motivation and increase weariness. When you're dehydrated, your energy levels may also drop, so you may find it more difficult to get things done at work. If you're exercising, it can also make exercise feel much more challenging, both physically and emotionally. Water is also helpful in preventing irregular bowel movements, gas, bloating, heartburn, and other discomforts. So when you hear all these bad things that can happen when you're not adequately hydrated, you may drink too much water and become overhydrated. If you're overhydrated, you'll experience cloudy thinking, nausea, vomiting, muscle weakness, spasms, cramps, and headaches. If it's severe, it may also result in seizures, unconsciousness, and even coma. Too much water consumption causes low sodium levels in the blood. This might result in energy loss, drowsiness, and a persistent sense of lethargy and tiredness. It can also lead to throbbing headaches that might cause brain damage. So as you can see, water is indeed a double-edged sword. This is where you get the question, how much should I drink to prevent dehydration and not be overhydrated? Health experts generally recommend eight eight-ounce glasses of water each day. That's roughly two liters. But the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine of the United States says that if you're living in a temperate environment, then men should drink approximately 15.5 cups or 3.7 liters of fluids, and women should drink 11.5 cups or 2.7 liters of fluid every day. Don't get mistaken, it says fluids, not water. That means you can replenish the water by using beverages such as tea and juice. Your food also provides around 20% of your water requirements. This water intake must be adjusted according to the environment and climate, food and beverage preference, activity level, and other health issues. The best way is to find how much water you need depending on your weight and age, and then adjust it accordingly. For this, take your weight in kilograms. Then, if you're younger than 30, multiply your weight by 40. If you're between 30 and 55, then multiply by 35. If you're older than 55, then multiply by 30. Divide that answer by 28.3. This way you get how many ounces you need to drink per day. Always watch the color of your urine, as it clearly shows how hydrated you are. If it's clear, then you're overhydrated. If it's dark yellow to red, that means you're dehydrated. I hope that was educational. Then give a thumbs up if you think it was useful. So until we meet again, bye-bye.